chào mừng quý anh chị quay trở lại với talk show chuyển động F5 và trong số này thì Diệp Trúc rất là hân hạnh khi ngồi đây cùng với ông Jack Tuzico, CEO của Golden Gate Global, một trong những đơn vị trung tâm vùng uh, uy tín, nổi tiếng với bề dày kinh nghiệm nhất trên thị trường về Infi hiện nay. So hi Jeff, thank you for joining our talk show today. We happy to have you here and sharing uh, the knowledge and the uh, experience of you uh, about Evify to everybody. Mm. So could you please say hi to everybody here? Uh, thanks so much for having me. It's yeah. always a pleasure. Uh, hello everyone. Mm. Yes. So could you please introduce a little bit about yourself? And yeah, I'm, um, I'm the CEO of Golden Global. I have been in EV5 for about 10 years. Um, I've helped more than a thousand investors come to the US. Uh, before that, I spent 20 years on Wall Street, uh, but specifically the last 10 uh, focused on markets in Vietnam and India and, and elsewhere in Asia. Yes, that's great. So uh, in this uh, episode, we will concentrate more about how to evaluate a EV5 project, uh, which is safe for the EV5 investors, about secure their green card and secure their EV5 money. Great. So with your experience in the industry already, could you please share with our clients more about how to choose the safe project to the EV5 investor? Yeah, I think when you begin this journey, the first thing is um, you want to make sure that you're working with all the right people. Um, mm -hmm. Before we even get into projects, we should talk about the team that you've assembled. That team, you know, from starting from the support you have on the ground in Vietnam, a top, you know, immigration agent who's able to help you, mm -hmm. top immigration attorney, also very important, mm -hmm. <clears throat> and then the regional center. You mm -hmm. want to make sure you have a regional center that has experience and has gone through the whole process and you know, from conditional green card, permanent green card, and then the ultimate prize, which is repayment of capital. Mm -hmm. So if you get those three things in place, you already have a very high chance of success. Yes, yeah, choosing a right partner. That's right. Yes, uh, at any, uh, the immigration agency and a regional center. Right. So uh, when we um, see in and looking at a project potential to invest, mm -hmm. uh, which part? of a project the EB5 investor should look at? The first thing is, who's the sponsor? Who is the developer? Um, I highly recommend that you work with a regional center that is a third party mm. um, developer, not, not someone raising money for their own projects, but at Golden Gate, we look at many projects every year. We choose a few, so we work on the side of the investor. Mm. So the quality of the sponsor is really important. Mm. How well capitalized they are, how successful they've been in the past, um, what is their track record? Mm. So once you start there, then you have a good base. Mm. The next thing is what um, skin in the game is the expression mm. in English. How much money do they have in a project? Mm. If something goes wrong, how much do they stand to lose? I mean, we've, you know, my experience in the business for the last 10 years, if you, you know, before we even consider underwriting a project or looking at a project, mm. we look for 25 to 40% equity from mm. the developer, meaning mm. 25 to 40% of the entire construction pro, um, budget is comes from directly from the developer. Mm. That means that they have to lose that money mm. um, before we lose any money. Yeah. I see. So, uh, how many uh, capital that the developer put into their project? Right. And then the next thing you want to do is, because EB-5 is a job creation program, that job creation is done by spending. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure the developer has all the money to spend. Mm -hmm. um, so you want to make sure the financing is in place. Mm -hmm. So if the developer has another source of financing, like a senior loan, mm -hmm. along with their equity, you want to make sure that senior loan is done and they can start spending it. Mm -hmm. So if you could reach that milestone, now we go to the next step. And the next step is, is the project permitted and ready to go? Mm -hmm. You want to make sure everything is in place so that construction yeah. can start as soon as it's supposed to. Yes, the construction should be started by the time you invest and you need to make sure all of the legal documents be ready uh, and it's, um, it's adapt all of the new regulation of USES about the EB-5. You, you need to see the license of the regional center, the track record, right. all of the paper related to the uh, guarantees like uh, you need to read uh, the completion guarantee, I-5269 guarantee, and uh, we see all of the kind of um, financial statement of the developer, the That's guarantor, right. 
uh, and also the legal paper, the formation of every entity related. That's, that's right. That's what we make into a due diligence report. That which uh, uh, with every project we introduce to our clients, we need to do that and give it to the accredited investors. Absolutely. Um, yeah. And you mentioned completion guarantee, and that's really important for EB5 because. Mm -hmm. You, the project, the spending has to happen in order for you to get job creation, to get yeah. your immigration, first and foremost. The thing about a completion guarantee is it's only as good as the person who's guaranteeing it. Mm -hmm. So you have to make sure that it's a quality sponsor who has a strong enough balance sheet to be able to issue that guarantee. Mm -hmm. Very yes. important. Right. Because anyone can guarantee anything, but yeah. if they can't back it up, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah. In Vietnam, we like the, 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 the word guarantee. Okay. But I, I, I learned that guarantee uh, only works when the guarantor <laughs> uh, have, have some money to pay, right? So exactly. uh, they have ability to execute their obligation. Right. So we need to see on their uh, how many guarantees, we don't know how many guarantees that they make, right? right? Exactly. Uh, like a personal guarantee or corporate guarantee, we need to see how many guarantees and their uh, financial statement, how many money that that company owned in in the uh, uh, in the company, right? Uh, of a uh, guarantor to mm -hmm. make any warranty. So exactly. that's that's important. And then you know the last piece of this is um, you, know, you want to get repaid. Your investment is usually loan based, so yeah. you you intend to get repaid, and whether it's two, three, four, or five years. Yes. How is the developer going to repay? Mm -hmm. um, so obviously in EB-5, and I know you speak with your clients about it, the developer can guarantee construction being completed, but they can't guarantee your money's coming mm. back 100%, but we put things in place to make sure that that happens. Mm. Um, so what is the exit strategy? Um, is it refinancing? Are they trying to sell properties? And then you have to look at the project and say, is it reasonable that this mm. project's going to repay? Mm. So is, um, you know, if it's a hotel, is this hotel going to be attractive? If it's mm. residences, are people going to live there? Very basic things yeah. that you have to ask. Mm. And then once you realize, once you see that, to then go, okay, if it's refinancing, when is that going to happen? And what triggers that refinancing? Mm. Or if it's the sale of property, when does that happen? Mm. So all these things come into play.